This is Hannah and Troy. Hannah and Troy were preparing for one of the best moments of their lives, having a brand new baby girl. They did everything to prep for this child. They painted the nursery, they built the crib, they took all of the classes. They were totally prepared until one day their ultimate joy turned into ultimate heartbreak when they find out the child would not make it to full term. For anyone who has gone through this, this couple faced immense grief. Grief for this family member they were so anxiously anticipating to meet. The child they already loved so deeply. This couple mourned together. They grew together. And now, more than a year later, this couple planned to welcome another baby into their home. And then COVID-19 happened. Only a week after the stay-at-home order went into effect, Hannah once again started feeling pain in her stomach and had to be rushed to the hospital. She was suffering from complications and had to stay in the hospital for the remainder of her pregnancy. This was without her husband Troy ever being allowed in or even able to visit. This broke the both of them. They were afraid about what was going on in the world and they were afraid about their unborn child and what would happen to him. Troy couldn't be there to support his wife or son and Hannah feared she'd have to undergo the pregnancy and all the complications all on her own. Troy, knowing how hard this would be for Hannah, did everything in his power to make her feel at home. You see, every single morning of their marriage, Troy had this habit where he would text his wife, Hannah, good morning, my beautiful wife. But this day he knew she would need to hear that message more than ever before. So instead of texting her, Troy went outside the hospital and drew his message to his wife onto the sidewalk near her hospital window. And when Hannah woke up that next morning, the first thing she saw was his message in bright and big letters. His act of love didn't stop there. Troy developed pictures and games from their home he knows Hannah loved. He ensured that a nurse brought Hannah her tea first thing in the morning like he used to do. He filled this empty, scary hospital room with love and affection, even being so far away. We might not all be going through this exact circumstance right now, but we are all feeling some kind of fear, some kind of anxiety. We might live alone and feel isolated. We might have family, we can't see but desperately want to. Remember this, love can be present whether you are physically there or not. You can spread joy from a letter. You can spread kindness through a computer screen. You can spread hope through a wave from a window. You can spread love through a chalk message on a sidewalk. This virus will not and has not stopped love. Spread the love you want to see in the world today. If you want even more videos just like this one, click on the boxes over here. And if you want to continue seeing these kinds of stories, you can subscribe by clicking the link right here.